Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Herman Green. The central bank says it's not expecting the net international reserves, NIR, to change over the next 12 months. This as it has reached an ideal level of reserves. TVJ's Andrew Laidley tells us more. Jamaica has always pushed to have strong reserves, to send a signal that it has enough money to conduct transactions with the rest of the world. But what's an ideal level of reserves for Jamaica? Why have more than three billion if you don't need more than three billion? Now that the country has achieved its target, it has eased up on the drive for further increases. You don't need, um, if having reserves for having reserves sake, you know what I mean, of just building up reserves when that, those reserves could be utilized in, um, in the economy is, I think, more adequate. So therefore, once they're above that level um, of, um, of reserves, which is, uh, I think they have like about five months of reserves, you know what I mean? And therefore, um, therefore, you don't need to really um, boost levels of reserves if those reserves can be um, actually utilized in, within the economy. He explained that any future increase will depend on the demand for imports. There is no real need to, um, to, to, in, to increase NIR levels. No, um, if we should have um, exports and, um, and our U.S. earning exports and services earning us um, significantly more as the economy, as we hope that the economy will start to grow and these reserves increase, then that is wonderful. But um, until we get the um, you know, real movement on exports and um, increased growth levels, if you have increased growth levels, then you could see the NIR going up. Andrew Laidley, TVJ News. We're going on to currency trading as today ended with the U.S. dollar selling for $130.17. The Canadian dollar is now selling for $98.77. The pound sterling is going for $172.12, while the euro closed today at $149.90. The JSE index gained 256 points today, while the junior market index is up 12 points. Stocks posting gains today include General Accident Insurance, Consolidated Bakeries, Kingston Properties, Carib Cement, and Lasker Distributors. Now, on the losing side were iCreate, JMMB Group, Seprod, Salada Foods, and Portland JSX. And that's the business day. I'm Herman Green. Good evening.